Welcome back to the Right Turn Randy YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be taking apart the whole top end of the engine, locking out the distributor, moving some gauges around. But the first step to putting the blower on right here is gonna be draining some coolant out of the system so that it doesn't go falling down into the valley with the oil, because we don't want that. Then we're gonna pull the distributor out and lock out the timing because blowers like a lot of initial timing. Then we have to install the boost gauge. I'm gonna put that probably right in front of the driver's seat up on the bar on the top of the windshield. I'm also gonna move the wideband gauge up close to the boost gauge so that I can see both of them better right now. I've turned my head to look and I really wanna turn my head to look so I'm probably gonna put it up on this bar up here. So let's get started. pretty good idea of how many miles this engine has on it. Gonna have to get a screwdriver, break this thing loose, and I'll get our first look down into the engine. All right, I got it pretty well freed up. Let's see what we're working with. Wow, that doesn't look too bad at all. This looks to me like a practically brand new engine. There can't be a whole lot of miles on this thing. I was getting a little bit worried because I looked down in this intake and it was nasty in there. <laughs> and then it's been painted over a couple times and I was like, oh man, I don't know. I don't know once I get into this thing. Dang, it's got some miles on it, but it's definitely not thrashed or it can't have a lot of miles on it. Oh man, that's a relief actually, but now I feel kind of bad about putting this <clears throat> on a pretty much brand new engine. Uh, see, so now I'm kind of thinking like, do I want to gap the rings at least? Cause this is, oh man. Man, it looks so clean. Well, whatever. Let's put some paper towels in here. We'll clean the gaskets off and we'll throw this blower on there. So here's to making dumb mistakes. Like, I don't know if anyone can relate. I'm gonna move the coolant sensor because there's these two holes back here, but those are not, the coolant doesn't really flow down where those holes are. And the place the coolant sensor was before was right up in the front of the intake. But there is no uh, place to put the coolant sensor in front of the intake. So there is a spot right down in the side of the block there in between the one and three cylinders and there was already a sensor in there, so I was like, ah, oh, just pull that sensor out, no big deal. I, I should have been thinking, that was really dumb of me. So I pulled that little hole, and it just poured coolant out of the car. So, I don't know what I was thinking. That was really dumb. That was a really dumb thing to do. But uh, now at least I'm going to have the uh, water temperature sensor. It's going to be on the side of the block instead of the intake manifold. That will give me a better read on what the temperatures are um, as far as the block is concerned. I also need to get a thermostat so that it can bring the block up to temperature faster. But either way, thought I'd share that little mistake because we're not perfect over here. Nobody is. All right, so I gotta clean this blower up. It comes with this paper sticker that goes across the top. You know the stickers that are really, really hard to take off? And it left all this adhesive on here when I peeled it off. I did my best to peel it off. See my fingerprint right there. Probably log into my phone with that fingerprint. I found that the best thing to take care of that is some denatured alcohol. Usually gets the stickers off really well. I'm gonna get to work cleaning this up. There's also one on the bottom. I can flip this blower over and show you that. This is a sticker I was talking about. This is the bottom of the blower. And this paper sticker it says, warning, danger to manifold. No. It says, warning, blower to manifold torque 10 foot-pounds only. Now, if you over-torque these, 
you could end up twisting the whole case just a little bit and the rotors will bind up in there and the blower will essentially destroy itself. The sticker is just, it's one of these paper stickers that is just so, it's impossible to take it off without this adhesive just sticking everywhere. That's, I, anyone that's ever had children where they put these kind of paper stickers on the inside of the window of your car or something, I mean, they're even easier to get off your car, but this stuff, I'm gonna have to, man, yeah, not a fan, but it's cool. We'll get it all cleaned up. And then we're gonna put the blower on and see what this thing looks like with the blower sitting on top of it. All right, so the alcohol definitely does take that stuff off. Not working quite as well as I'd like. So I'm gonna try the m and Naphtha instead. This stuff is uh, ultra flammable, so um, I'm being like super careful with it. Got a little bit of naphtha on this blue towel and it absolutely lays waste to this stuff. It takes it right off. Totally takes it right off. This is essentially just lighter fluid, BMP naphtha. I'll come back with the alcohol, because it's a distilled petroleum product. I'll come back with the alcohol and I'll clean it all off and um, that should make this sticker really easy to remove, I'm hoping. But look at that, it just comes right off. It's nuts. All right, so I've got some gauge work to do. I'm gonna get all the gauge work done before I actually put the blower completely on. There's a, a port back here, and that's for the boost gauge. I think I'm just gonna run a line up here underneath the window and then figure out a way to attach it to the bar inside the window there. And then, of course, the oil pressure line is still hooked up, but I moved the line from that oil pressure gauge down there at the bottom. I moved the line from that oil pressure gauge, which obviously is not easy to get a look at. And I'm gonna move it up to one of these pods up here. I still need to take this gauge back out, the oil temperature gauge, see if that works. I've gotta put the fuel gauge in there, which I'm gonna run through the firewall. And then of course the uh, oil pressure gauge. Oil pressure gauge is gonna go in there somewhere too. I tested the oil pressure gauge out already. The fuel pressure gauge, I gotta give that a little test spray. All right, so you got the fuel pressure gauge. Give that a little spray, see if it makes sure it works. There we go. So I've decided I'm gonna put the original oil pressure gauge that was in the NASCAR when I got it back in the car. As you can see, it's filled with this uh, oil. That's actually a silicon-based uh, lubricant and oil. We have a water temp gauge right here, and I don't know if any of you know this, but once you take one of these water temp gauges that are sealed and you cut that thing off the back, this is a paperweight. It's trash now, you can't, it, you, it's impossible to use it. So we're gonna drain some of the silicon fluid out of this and then pour it into here. And I'm gonna hook this gauge back up. Wow, this stuff is super thick. I did not expect it to be that thick. The, uh, the gauge, this gauge holds a lot of it too. I've only pulled that much out, it's about halfway down. And it took about two and a half syringes to get it to here. This last syringe will probably do it but that stuff's really thick. <laughs> I think this is probably the last syringe it'll need. You know, I got to thinking right now, I was gonna have somebody come and help me uh, put the blower on, but I figure it can't be, it's not that heavy. I mean, it's not that heavy. So I uh, did some planning ahead, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and stand inside the engine bay and just uh, do the twist and see if I can get it plopped on there. Wow. Oh. Oh. oh, bro. Perfect. It's like it was made for this. Okay. Oh, oh man, that's actually uh, quite easy. Okay, all right, that looks pretty sick. <laughs> oh, oh man, oh dude, that looks freaking bad. Okay, so it's on there. <laughs> I've got a lot of stuff to sort of button up. There's lots of little things that need to go on there. I need carburetor mounting kit for the spacer up there. Um, need a few other things. Gotta build the fuel lines and all that stuff, but uh, shouldn't be 
too much more. It's got a lock on the distributor, uh, mounts over the gauges, tons of other stuff. But uh, they say that the last 10% is 90% of the job. So that's gonna be it for this video. There's quite a bit more left to do, a little more than I thought there was gonna be. But in the next video, we're gonna button up all that stuff so that we can get the car started. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the videos, please subscribe, and I will see you soon.